Oh my god, you're back for another TOA hard video. Floor 70, by the way. I'm here to help you guys beat this thing, right? Well, For whatever reason, you're having trouble. I'm here. Give me your hand. I I'm waiting. I will walk you through this step by step, right? Of course, to do that, I need to give you a team. To give you a team, we need to know what the boss does. So uh, when I do give you this team, you understand why we're bringing the units that we're bringing. But with this floor specifically, who cares about what teams they're using? I don't. Um, for this floor specifically, there is something that needs to be said. It's almost like a little warning when you look at this floor, right? It is very easy to think that you should aim for these guys, right? What if I told you you do not want to attack Drogon? Or, or more specifically, you do not want to kill Drogon, right? In fact, this is a little bit of trickery that this stage is playing. By killing Drogon, you're falling for this floor's evil plan, right? Let me tell you how, right? Let me tell you why you're falling for the evil plan, right? Let's say you attack Drogon and you kill it. Heck, even if you kill it by accident, you kill Drogon, he deals 33% of his max HP to whoever dealt the final blow to Drogon, right? This is no, no, no bueno, right? Because 33% of max HP of four different units will kill anybody. Except maybe like Laika, because I think like well, does Laika's passive proc here? I believe it does. But even then, 33%. I mean, it, it, ah, I would need to take a look at Laika. But regardless, <laughs> regardless, they will deal massive damage. And you might think, oh, well, well at least I killed them. I could focus on Kraka, right? No, because Kraka revives she revives all dead allies with 30 percent hp and all their skills are available to use essentially meaning that their cooldown times of their skills are ready to use right um which is bad because that means that their passes are immediately ready to use meaning that they could infinitely take out your units you do not want to kill drogon your your, your strategy here is to come in crowd control the waves via spectra or Tyran, or whomever you use, and aim straight for Kraka. And if you must kill Drogon, bring Dots. Because Dots won't de uh, act as if an attack, right? It it it's a debuff, right? The same thing goes with bombs. If you bomb or dot the enemy, it won't deal some random final blow, right? It'll just die and it won't deal any damage to anybody. So you can dot Drogon to death, which uh, a lot of you guys are bringing dots, so cool. But um, let's assume that you can't bring dots because you don't have dot units yet. You don't have them built, right? You're going to bring units that bring crowd control. Spectra, Tyran, Veramos, the Wakes, right? The original team. Kraka, on the other hand, uh, not on the other hand, what am I talking about? Kraka, you will just use Lauren to prevent her from moving, right? But you do not want to attack Drogon. Now... When you're building your team, I, and I've experienced this, because when I was going through this myself, Vermos, even without me trying, was killing Drogon, right? So units like Tyran and Spectra are really good units. You could leave out Vermos, right? And you could bring units like Thrain. But if you must, you can bring Vermos and uh, bring either units like Fraun or Riley. We'll bring Fraun for this one, and then Lauren, right? And this team works, and you get big damage from Spectra and his skill too. Um, one thing that I did want to talk about, and actually we can kind of get out here and go to the monster box for this. So one thing I wanted to talk about is if you do happen to die, like one of your units that dies from Drogon, you can just bring revival units, like Teon. Teon you get really early on and he will revive a dead ally and recover the HP of all allies by 20% each and he does uh, fill the target's attack bar and strengthens their attack power. Teon is a really good unit and you get him for free and you can build him swift HP HP as fast as possible as tanky as possible right you get units like Morris that revive obviously you get Briand, Briand, whatever um I believe McKean revives yes you get Vanessa there are quite a few units that have revivals. I believe Eladriel. Yep. Uh, the Light Pixie, Cheryl, which but, uh, Cheryl's her own little tale. Uh, Betta. I have Betta on my LD. 
revive wouldn't be that bad of an idea, I guess. But uh, it's just a thought, right? Let's go back to the stage. Anyways, so again, here's our team. Ready or not, let's go in. So with all the units that do have damage dealing AoE skills, they're not built on damage, right? The only two units that are going to deal AoE damage are Tyron and Thring. Tyron, he's not on any damage. You're going to see, boom, he literally did zero damage. But he does freeze. And Thrain, obviously you're not going to build Thrain on any amount of damage. And then you could place dots, which are going to be good with dealing with the wave, right? So you don't have to worry about accidentally killing Drogon because Drogon won't take enough damage from you himself. He'll more likely than anything die from the dots from Thrain before he ever dies to any amount of damage coming from raw damage from skills, right? So a team like this is really helpful. Uh, other dot units that you could bring that are probably just as good are units like Rika, Sath, and Sath um, increases the damage from dots, so that's pretty nice. You have Melia, um, all these units are pretty decent. You could bring Charlotte, uh, but obviously try to ruin Charlotte. Why did I do that? Um, Charlotte isn't a dot de uh, unit, but you can still bring her. But, um, yeah, so. Boom, dots, stun, and we're going to use first skills, right? So we're just going to do this to him. Just deal damage. We, we don't really care what we're doing. Dots, even though that didn't do anything. Let's, uh do something real quick let's freeze I don't want any of them trying to do anything never mind he's gonna move anyways <laughs> that was awesome <laughs> I saw that coming from a mile away <laughs> it's fine cuz strip you never mind kill you I forgot you have endure so let's start aiming for every everybody else god they're gonna be so annoying look at this oh man this is where we messed up. Now they're going to waste our time. <laughs> it's fine. We could survive this. We, we just wasted time. I saw, saw, I saw it happening and I let it happen anyways. <laughs> oh man, I'm such an idiot. Immunity and healing. We do not want Spectra to die because of a stupid mistake we made. Boom, now we can start dealing some damage. Can we kill you? No. Heal. Boom. By the way, my violent, my frond's on violent, which is showing. Boom. Now we can get back on track. Let's freeze. Never know. I'm so glad that they're back at full HP. <laughs> that was sarcasm, if you couldn't tell. Boom. To deal damage. Spectra does no damage here. It's okay though. We're just going to dot our way to success. I hear Veramoth screaming in my ear right now. Hey, you know, I would have beaten this, by the way. I know, but Drogon, so. SMD, Veramoth, SMD. Now it's aiming for this one, because the other one's going to die to dots. And the reason we're using first skills and not any of our other skills is because we want the cooldown time to be ready. Like, we don't want any skills to be on cooldown by the time we enter the next stage. So we don't use skills before we move on. So there we go. This this next wave, um, again, crowd control. Very easy. Stun. Immunity. Attack buff. Lauren, do your thing. Boom. And then, there we go. And then, boop. Big damage. Nice. Reduce the attack bar of everybody. We're not done with you yet. Defense break. More dots, in case you felt like you didn't have enough. We got some for the whole class. Doing this. This. We're aiming for him because he's actually moving. Wow, I can't believe... 
that were just not stunning this guy at all. Believe it or not, Thrain and Tyron are on despair. So, that's interesting. Okay, if they... Dang, my Fraun is violent proccing. Damage. More dots. Stuns. Freeze. Just in case the stun doesn't happen. Yeah, I mean... You see what's happening here. They're just <laughs> not moving. So even if our units were all built on speed attack attack... And they were super squishy... Since the enemies just don't move... It doesn't matter what uh, happens, right? It, it's just... We're safe. We're always safe. Safety, safety. Again, skill one to have our skills ready. Remember, do not aim for Drogon, right? You do not want to kill Drogon. Now you aim for Kraka. Place dots, so if Drogon does die... God dang it, I meant to use skill 3. If Drogon does die, he dies to dots and he doesn't hurt anybody. Stun. Boom. More dots for everybody. Come on. Boom, big damage. We just need like one more of those. Let's not let you move. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making sure Drogon doesn't move because he's just going to be annoying. Stun? You just do not want to stun the Drogon on the right. Have Fraun attack him a little bit. Ooh. Big damage. Easy peasy. <laughs> I hope you guys can beat the stage now. I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.